Hello everybody, what's going on? Back on the water. Doing the uh, San Marcos again. Doing a little different stretch. We're going um, from bottom to top. The first, we went to our get-in spot and there was a dude sitting on his porch. So Brandon and I drove down there and asked him if we could park there. And he says, most people go downriver. So we're doing what most people, I guess, don't do. We parked underneath the bridge and coming up river until we get tired. Just turn around and go back down. But nice nice beautiful Sunday this is a new stretch of river we've never done before so there's a possibility of doing a float that's about five and a half miles so we're kind of just scoping out today to see if the uh, float would be possible all right here we go up river I can't believe we're doing it Let's see if we can get a bit early and quick off of a jig in that lay down Might be a lot of this today. Getting out, walking. We spit it out. Pretty good size. Yeah. Oh, I had a tiny one. It was super small. First one, little guy. I'll take it. You know, I'll start with the little ones. I'm just gonna work my way up. Now that I got the small one out of the way. Another little one, probably about the same size. Do what? Said another little one, probably about the same size. So that way, I caught that one on the crank though. I got it right in the that little. I figured he'd be under there. Yeah, I'm like stuck to my kayak because I <laughs> Thank you, sir. There we go. Maybe it's a good thing we went up river. Going down and back up? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> way to do it. We can just exhaust ourselves going up and then just sit in the kayak and float. Yeah. I saw him strike it and miss. 
I can see his belly. So I just let it sit for a little bit. Damn, he took my both my pinchers. This is one of my, I like scoping out rivers this way. Just oh, walking up them. You know, you get an idea of whether it would be worth it to do it all the way from one point. Like, I'm confident that we could get down this stretch, no problem. Me and you have been real lackadaisical about actually catching them. That, he didn't look too small. I don't mind losing that one. The first one I lost hurt. Oh, okay. That would have been my biggest for the day. Yep. Oh, kayak down. <laughs> Look how fat he is. Biggest of the day, right? Uh, caught one about this big earlier today. Hey! I'm gonna take this fish for a walk. Oh, you have a fish. Oh, you didn't know? No. This will be my biggest of yeah. the day. Did you get him out of here? Yeah. Oh, he's uh, stuck on your foot. Is he? He's right there. I mean, up. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I'm good. I've been having trouble too uh, with like, it's hard to handle them while the river's pushing you down. Yeah. Yeah, that was a terrible. Uh, Whole the whole sequence? Yeah, whole sequence. Oh my god. Is this the same guy? <laughs> Here, you want to measure him, Brayman? So you got him in the eye socket, but not the eye not ball. Not the ball. Look, his eye's fine. <laughs> I think. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah. Ten and a half. Touch him? You haven't touched him. Okay. I'll get an assist for that one. Mm-hmm. You wanna keep going up? What? You wanna keep going up? Oh yeah, I'm trying to rig up. Okay. Hey, I just wanted to see if you wanted to go. I didn't know if you were ready to turn around or what.
Oh, that weird little duck thing. I don't know what that is. It had a long ass neck. Oh, decent one, Brayman. Like one that I can actually get the net out for. Yeah, and he's not bad. Lost him? Yep. <laughs> I think we've been pretty bad about landing our fish today. Real lazy. He took my legs, dude. But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. There he is. No way. That, this, really? Do you have my legs, sir? Let me look in your mouth. Nope. Colt, real quick, Brandon. Thank you, sir. Another one. Oh, oh, decent. Decent. Decent, buddy. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna measure him. He's like barely even hooked, too. Fifteen? Yeah. Possible log jam? Is it? Possible. Oh no, it looks like someone's come through with like a chainsaw and cut a gap through this. That's crazy. Should have just kayaked all the way up to the top. We should have done it reverse. Probably like halfway. Actually, I don't know what the distance was. It was like, maybe like five miles. Five point five, yeah. All right, we went. What do you think? Two point two miles or so. So on this trip, we just went up river, turned around, did yeah, the two point five seven miles. We went almost half of six hours. Sheesh. All right, so six hours on the water. We have been out here for a while. 
now we get to do the fun part, the easy part. Just go back down the river. Easy. Drop shot or wacky rig. Seemed pretty decent today. A lot of birds. Beautiful day. Well, that's going to be a wrap, folks. I would call it a success. Uh, Brayman and I did about half of the total float from top to bottom. We ended up going from bottom to top uh, just because the area that we wanted to put in at is a little sketchy and it was just us two. Brayman's still kind of healing from a foot issue. Uh, so this weekend we're actually going to go explore the full five and a half miles. So stay tuned to see what the full float looks like. Uh, perfect, again, it was a perfect uh, scouting trip walking the opposite distance you know it's uh it's tough walking up river it's a quite a good workout on your your uh, hamstrings and your calves and your thighs just walking up against the current still no rain in the beautiful state of texas uh, i don't know if there's even a forecast of rain in the next month so we'll be sticking to the san marcus and the lakes and and uh hopefully fingers crossed god we can get some rain our air conditioning went out at our house so uh, the likelihood of buying a complete new unit is in our near future so the joys of living in texas with multiple days of 100 degrees over and over and over again but if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will see y'all on the next one peace